What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk about uh, the Nazem Kadri situation in uh, Toronto. Uh, rare admiral from Barcelona Sports actually brought up the pretty good analogy of uh, Kadri to you know Tyler Sagan in Boston. Uh, the Bruins lost patience with Sagan and then shipped him down to Dallas. And you know, let's be honest, they kind of regret that decision. Uh, all due respect to Louis Erickson and Riley Smith. The Leafs are exercising more patience with Kadri than they should. You know, he's a 24-year-old kid. I mean, I think he's still got some growing up to do. I mean, I think that's a fact. Of course, Ron Wilson going on TSN and saying that uh, he never felt Kadri ever really listened to him isn't exactly the best look. Um, my One of the issues with Kadri is I think they should have had him up sooner um, than they did. And I think had he gotten the NHL experience, had Wilson had a chance to mold him earlier, maybe it could have been different. But the you know flip side of the coin, it does a leopard change his stripes, or does a leopard change his spot. <laughs> it's been a long day. It's, it's getting lions and tigers and leopards confused. It's zoology with CJ. Uh, but I digress. You know, you're looking at Kadri this year, 36 points in the season. I think he's fourth on the team in scoring. I'm just looking at the team's leading scores right now. Kessel, Van Riemsdyk, Bozak, Kadri, Phaneuf. You know, those five guys, I mean, all five of them could be moved this summer. I mean, realistically, uh, you throw Lupul in that mix, it could be a full-on fire sale. If I'm the Leafs, I'm waiting to see how the draft lottery goes. If they get McDavid... I wouldn't be so quick to tear this whole thing down. Uh, maybe I'm overrating my guy McDavid a little bit, but something about him and Phil Kessel together would be pretty damn good. And as much as you know, the Leafs got to overhaul and do this, do that. Those aforementioned five, six players are good hockey players. So same thing with Kadri. I think you know, they're going to take calls on him. I think the Leafs are going to make a lot of moves this offseason. I mean, I think Kevin DuPont tweeted a joke about, you know, Phil Castle for Joe Thornton trade. Something like that could happen. I mean, I think they're at the point now where they've got to start moving things and try to build it the right way this time. I mean, Edmonton just can't get it right. And at least the Leafs got a playoff appearance in the last deck. So, when, when did Edmonton go to the final? So, that was in six, so nine years ago. And then, obviously, haven't snipped the playoff since. Likewise, the Leafs got that. Uh, 2013 cup of coffee in the playoffs, and then, uh, you know, the, the cup of coffee got thrown in their eyes, and <laughs> it's kind of a painful experience the way they were shown the door. So, again, the Kadri situation is something to keep an eye on. I think teams will be calling about him because he's a talented kid, but at the same time, uh, I want to be so quick to move him over nothing. You know, it's just one of those damned if you do, damned if you don't situations. And if I'm the least, I'm using the Tao Sagan situation as a cautionary tale. When you move a kid that's that talented that early, um, obviously. The Bruins were, the Bruins moved Sagan when he was 21. I mean, Kadri's, what, 24 now? So, you know, yeah, I can see both sides of it, which is a cop-out answer, I know. But when you look at the reality of the situation, pick up, moving players is slightly more complicated than, all right, we got to get you out of town. What can you get back? You know, is it worth, is sometimes a player worth the aggravation? Sometimes, like, you know, might as well just suck it up because he's, he's producing. Obviously, you know, Kadri's not doing as well as they'd like him to do because the team sucks, but uh, it's plus minus. And it's, again, people are trying to throw that out the window, rightfully so, but it's not as bad as some of the other guys on the team. I mean, Kessel's minus 30, Bozek's minus 28, Fanoff only minus 7, so good good going, Dion. Anyway, Kadri's situation, let a play out, see what happens in the draft lottery. That's my two cents of the matter. That's our episode of the Power Play with CJ. It's two more episodes with the season. And beyond. Later, guys.